It's really awkward when like I can see that you're talking about me. Someone said best and worst Pakistani designers. Worst. Take it away, Adam. Most annoying trait about each other. How do you guys react when you get rich stars? Start again and then from now. <laughs> Stop eating. <laughs> I love the way you sang, girl. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Look who I have here again. Alina's I've back. actually never been. Oh yeah, you've never actually had a sit down video yeah. with me. This is good. This is exciting. Oh wait, I need to put this on Instagram. Just one second. You guys, it's like half past three. This is breakfast. So, I asked you guys to ask me questions for the mukbang and you guys asked so many questions. Alina was reading them all. She read all of them and she took about 20 minutes to get through them all and she goes, I think we can answer all of them. I feel like we can because a lot of them were like repeated questions. Daher just said, can I come Italy? The answer's no, Daher. Daher is a girl's holiday. You know that. I'm little. Oh, okay. Okay, Badji said, if you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Definitely potatoes. Like chips or like some sort of potatoes. Mm. Because you can do so much stuff with mm. potatoes. Please is good. So good. I think mine would be sag. And mm. maybe like burrata. That's two things. Oh, because you need to have some up with the sog. Do you think that's too zoomed out? Should we zoom in a bit more? Because I've seen the food now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm genuine. Who's your bestest friend? Who's your bestest friend? I don't have one. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I shouldn't have 100%. Do you guys feel like sisters instead of cousins? That kind of relationship is so special. I feel like we actually don't feel like either. I feel like we feel like besties. Yeah. I don't feel like we feel like cousins. Because, you know, sisters, like, sisters argue. Yeah. And we don't argue. Like, me and my sister argue a lot. I mean, Ashman and I argue in a different way. But we don't argue. We, you can't argue like that with friends. Mm. Basically, me and Ashman were talking about this the other day. We said because we're cousins we're able to be like, um, you wouldn't spend like six weeks at someone's at your best friend's house, would you? But because we've been cousins, we've been able to do that. But we're like, because we get on so much, we're like best friends. Does that make sense? Like you wouldn't, you'd feel a bit odd staying at someone who's not your family's house for like mm. that much. Or like, um, if we see each other quite a bit and if we said to our mums like, oh, I, need, I want to go see them, it, your parents could be like, if it's friends, Why? they could be like, chill out, you know. Mm. But because it's us, they're like, okay. Do you know what? Does that make sense? Yeah, I get you. Um. This is the Gold Gapa mix. It looks so good. And then I've got the Bani Buri here. The Bani for the Bani Buri here. I don't call it Bani Buri, I call it Gold Gapa. I think that's the Pakistani way, and then Indian people say Pani Puri. I've always said Golgape. The Pani Puri and the Samosa Chat was two pounds each. Crazy. I love the way you shine, girl. How do you feel comfortable in Pakistan knowing like creepy men are staring at you? How do I feel? Don't feel comfortable. Well, you don't feel comfortable. And Anna was funny because she literally. <laughs> She's literally like, what? To them and then they don't know what to do because they normally like when girls get stared at they just put their head down and carry on and she doesn't take it she's like what and then they just don't know how to react um you can't feel comfortable it's not comfortable and sometimes they stare even after i say what because they're like wait she just said something back to me yeah but sometimes i get really embarrassed about it which is what i aim for yeah it's good though you should always say something what is and i'm like in real life She's just the same, innit? <laughs> well, like, this is real life, innit? This isn't like a stage so, like, Another thing show. I was talking about, there's some people that look really real, and I feel like Dina, Dina Tokyo is one of them. Like, there's no sh like, mm. I just feel like what you see is what you get with her. 100%. And like, there's not many people like that. But like, how can she be fake? Like, she vlogs, like, for example, Pakistan vlogs, that was just... And like, I vlog without makeup on. I say good things, I say bad things, like, I don't filter, so like, how can I be any different? I'm just gonna get tissue. And that pani puri is really good. It's really um spicy. He actually asked us how spicy do you want it. We would just say like medium, but this is really spicy. And I can handle spice. Well, I don't know, maybe I can't. We need to cut the burger in half. Yeah. Let me do that. 
How are you? This one comes up a lot. How are you related? Shall I wait till you come back? No. How are you related? Love the bond you have with your family. So basically, we're cousins. So my mum and Anam's mum are sisters. When's your next trip to Pakistan? Love your Pakistan vlogs. We honestly have so much fun in Pakistan. And like, I'm always like, let's, guys, let's go back, let's go back. And I was like, no. I'm just a bit sick of it. Um, not sick of it I just feel like there's lots of other places to explore which we haven't been to which I agree I agree but I also think we should go once a year to Pakistan just for like a bit of a chill but then do the holidays as well true what is Alina studying <laughs> everyone thinks she's still in uni so um, everyone was asking like what the, this is qu this question came up a lot like what's my job and what's NM's job outside of YouTube those two questions came up so I'm an optometrist and Anam's job is YouTube. Yep. Mm hmm Will you guys consider to visit Asian countries like Hong Kong? Would love to meet you guys. I would absolutely love to go to Hong Kong. I also really want to go to Tokyo. Yeah, so basically we, we want to travel everywhere. But she just keeps wanting to go to Pakistan again. No, I want to do everything. Um, like now, we're going away for my sister's bridal shower and me and Anna wanted to go somewhere like long haul. My sister doesn't have holidays from work, she's got to save them for a wedding and stuff. So like that's restricted, whereas me and Anna, we don't have that restriction. We can go whenever we want. But we want to go with everyone. Do you get annoyed with Alina and say it to her face or do you just keep it to yourself? I always tell someone when they're annoying. I'm like, Alina, you're being really annoying. When Anna is pissed off, you'll know Anna is pissed off. I can't hide it. Um, Sometimes I try, but you can still tell from yeah, my face. Yeah, I can't. Or she can't hide it. <laughs> Who's Dalha? <Delha? laughs> Dalha's my brother. Do you feel pressure to get married as you're in your 20s? Nah. Do Neither you? do I. Like, if someone else asked, like, um, on someone said, um, or oh, do you, how do you respond when all the aunties say, when you're getting married, when you're getting married? And we talked about it, and we were like, no one says that to us. No aunties say that to us. Yeah. And I don't know if that's because we don't, we're not we, around them. We don't really get those kinds of aunties anyway. Like, you know how people be like, the typical aunties? I don't know, like, I barely ever come across aunties like that. And if I do, they're not like, related aunties. How old are we? We, get, we got that like 10 times. So I'm 24. And I'm, I'm 23. What's our age gap? We're exactly one year. No, 361 days apart mm -hmm. there's four days in the year where we're the same age so oh exactly. and that's why we went to italy in our birthday week because it was both of our birthdays yeah which moment would you never forget with each other this is really sad but when my grand granddad passed away and we were together it was the night of my sister's wedding so everyone was in london me and my family didn't actually know how ill he was because my khala wanted to like make no, no, sure no you knew how no um I no no no. Everyone knew how he he you didn't know that um we didn't know he was in the hospice. Didn't you? Didn't you? No. I think I found out in the wedding call you are Ramish said. Oh my god. I thought you knew. As in like everyone knew how it, like he had an illness, that like, everyone knew he was ill. Yeah. So you didn't know like it had it had taken a turn for the worst basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't know that. We were home. The wedding had finished. Just yeah, the finished. wedding had finished. Me, Alina, Baju, not Baju, Ramish, mum and dad were home. And then we just got the news and it was just the saddest moment ever. And like we were all together at that time and it was just, it was like, it, it was like a really weird, yeah. numb feeling. Because we went straight away to Huddersfield. Yeah. And then like the days the days following that, like we were just constantly together. Oh, but that was probably the. Worst so like when you think, when I think of that memory of us, like I always think all of us. Who's the funniest family member that is in the vlog? I feel like Delha's quite funny. Delha's definitely the funniest. Yeah, he's really funny. Yeah, we're all a bit funny. I feel like he's comical funny. Delha's funny to everyone though. Mm. What's the best concealer for dark eye bags? Asian skin tone. I love the Bare Minerals. I'm not sure which one it is, but it's. Hmm. I'll, I'll link it down below, yeah. Is that what you use? Yeah, and the the colour is amazing. Um, I think it's medium golden. I think it would work for a lot of different skin tones. That one conceals my under eyes like no other concealer and it's so lightweight. It's crazy. Such a good concealer. I'll link it, so make sure you check it out. Lahore or Faisalabad? Oh yeah, I think Lahore is a vibe. 
I'm gonna say first Labad because I've I've had a lot of negative experiences in Lahore because mm -hmm. we always go for shopping. Mm -hmm. But Lahore has amazing food and stuff. And the culture. And lots of things to do. A lot of history as mm. well. Restaurants are amazing. I mean, generally Lahore is better. It's just like, I, I get so put off by elitist, that culture that exists. That was an actual question, I'll find it um, when I find it. How to shop designer bags on a budget if there is such a thing? Well, first I say go to Vista. Also, start small, like um, mm. small ones, like um, wallet on chains and stuff like that. They're not, like you can get... Like the Diorama wallet on chain is considerably less than the crossbody diorama and like you can get like a gucci wallet on chain for like four or five hundred pounds and then the other thing is shop second hand it's sustainable but it's also really good if you want to save a bit of money vestia collective and shops like that um websites like that are really good bags or shoes <laughs> shoes 100 percent. really see i don't know because i feel like I, both of them make the outfit bags and shoes but what makes you happier bags I I've think. got really bad posture in this video because my head's getting cut off. And mine isn't because I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> What's the hardest thing you guys have gone through individually and together? I think individually and together the answer is this, the same would be when our granddad passed away. It was crazy because there would be moments where randomly one person would start crying. Yeah. Like, it was weird because, first of all, we don't generally just, we're not criers normally. Yeah, we're really not. not especially not in front of each other. Yeah. Um. So, like, that was, it was, like, a really weird experience because, like, through the day, throughout the days following, like, we would just be sat and, like, if one of us was just sat there crying, it would just, you'd just carry on. Like, it wouldn't be a thing. And how, how weird is that? That's so crazy. You know, like, normally, like, if you're crying in public or, like, with a friend, they'll be like trying to comfort yeah, yeah, yeah. you. It's, it wasn't. It, it, it wasn't, wasn't like that. Like you just accept yeah. it. You wouldn't go up to the person. You just let them cry and just yeah. carry on. Then they'd stop, and then someone else would stop. It was just one of those. It was weird. But oh my god. Oh sh. How did you do that? I don't know, but it's not in the video, so it's fine. She's got perineas all over her top. Um. Um. The other thing I was gonna say was that. The only person who wasn't in that kind of thing was still her, but he just dealt with it very differently. Yeah, so when we're saying together, we mean like us four girls. Yeah. Me, my sister, and I'm and Asma. We dealt with it together. That's how we dealt with it, was together. Mm. Like, not even with our mums either, it was just us four. Pizza's gonna get cold. So I put it. You want another slice? I kinda want some like chips on this. Some chips. Um, mash. Amazing mash. Does Alina like a. Alma BB, thinking about getting it. The reason I love it, because um, I'm really, really bad with like um, looking after things and like it's really hard leather. Yeah. I, I bash it about and it still looks brand new. So, and yeah, so I would recommend it to be honest. And it goes with everything because it's like that kind of colour. And you've got the Demia Abine print. So that one's in a canvas. Yeah, it's just really hardcore. So yeah, it's really durable. And I feel like you can fit a lot in it and it goes with every outfit. It's just really practical. Yeah. Right. What degrees did you do? I did geography, human geo. Well, I did geography, but it was more human. I didn't do human geography. What do you mean more human? So in my uni, you either have BA geography, which is geography with more human modules, or you have BA human geography. So the two titles are different. Mm -hmm. In my one, you get a few physical modules, physical geography modules. Physical geography is like rocks and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. volcanoes. Mm -hmm. Human geography is all about like populations. Right, and okay, so, okay, 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 yeah. But yeah, um, and I did optometry. What's your favorite luxury brand and handbag? My favorite brand is probably Dior. I would say the same one for the handbags. Oh really? Yeah, definitely. My favorite handbag is definitely the Fendi Peekaboo. I think it looks great in different sizes as well. I feel like mine's my, um, my, um, sack du jour. Oh, really? Yeah, because I've You're had a it... You're a bit annoyed at that. Yeah, bag. basically, I have a love-hate relationship with it, but it's really heavy, really heavy, but I use it as a work bag now, and, like, I love it because I get to use it every day for work, do you know what I mean? So it's a good work bag because it's, like, that kind of style. Were you guys just as close growing up? Yeah. So basically... We used to, should I say it? Yeah. Yeah. We used to, um, <laughs> it's nice. I don't know what you want to put on. Uh, we used to live together. Not for a long time. Hala, how long did we live together? Two years. 
Is that it? Yeah, I was five when we moved to London. So why is it such a big thing? Okay, so we didn't live together for that long. That's a long time, five years. She said two. No, she said a few. Oh, right, okay. Mom, did you say a few years or two years? A few. Oh, okay. So about five years then. So then these lot moved to London and it was like really, really sad. But then we were just always back and forth between London and here. Someone also asked, I don't know who asked and what it was, but they said, how do you manage to stay so close when you live so far mm. away? So first of all, like when we were growing up, we would come here or they would come to Huddersfield for holidays. So we would always have that. So like we would always come back and forth. I remember whenever we'd go back, I'd use, I used to get sad and then I used to, like, Hala would know that I'm sad and then she'd be like, don't worry, it's only, like, a month and then it's going to be Christmas mm -hmm. and then it's going to be, like, two months and then it's going to be Easter <laughs> and then you can go again. And so she always used to make me feel better. I remember every single time she used to say that. And, like, in the six weeks holidays, like, for example, if they would come for, like, two weeks, they would be leaving and then we'd be all really sad and my sister would start crying and then ask me and then we'd like ask my dad to like oh can they come with us and then be like yeah and then we'd quickly get in the car and then when it was time for us to go back to Huddersfield they would do the same thing and so <laughs> we'd just go like back and forth for the full six weeks because we just didn't want to that was cute so that's when we were younger and then now that we're older it's just easier because we just drive up and you guys just drive down it doesn't have to be all together like sometimes Alina will just come or yeah. sometimes Badgie will just go and actually it's re like recently it's rare that we're all together yeah it's so annoying yeah it's really sad and so like we proper appreciate it. even if like one time these lot were down and we were like let's just quickly go for dinner before you all go because like i'd been at work and stuff so like we i just was like actually dinner. in where was sheffield that? sheffield yeah. for a work thing and then and i was on a block so i was coming home from like darlington that's crazy like yeah. we weren't even in huddersfield but we just like wanted to make sure we meet yeah so like um that's so cute so yeah, then we all went for dinner. And, um, so like we proper appreciate being together. So like when we're older, it's easier. And also, what was the question? How do you stay close? Also, I texted him the other day. And like we don't text every day. Like we don't. We don't in the group chat, we talk every, pretty much every day. Yeah. So we have a group chat of us four and we talk pretty much every day. Individually, not so much. And so like. People are going to think we leave Dalha out. Dalha doesn't really text. He's not a... I don't think they even think of Dalha. <laughs> no, like, you know, Dalha has a boy. So like the girls have a different relationship. Dalha has in it. But he's like, um, it's different in here, like he's with the boys and also he feels with Daya and stuff and whatever. True. Also, uh, another thing happened, like, so when our granddad got ill, they would obviously come down quite a lot to help and stuff. So for a good few, like for a long period of time, we mm. weren't going out. We were like just sort of in the house because we were like, you know, they'd come over to help. So we would be, going out wasn't an option. I think it's important to explain that my granddad needed a lot of help. Like it wasn't possible to like, leave him unattended yeah <clears throat> someone would always be there or someone. at least at home yeah he was completely dependent on someone for everything everything yeah. yeah so like going out wasn't an option for us for a long time so um we were just in we were in the house together quite a bit so there was that so we were yeah. you were down quite a bit and then afterwards since then like since he's passed away we appreciate everything a lot being more being able to do things together which are like outside yeah even just staying home yeah even like even like home things we would do together we'd have to like make sure someone's keeping an eye on my granddad which we're not complaining no, no, no. at all we're just saying that we're like, very blessed to have been yeah, given we the like, opportunity yeah, to look after 100%. him like not everyone gets that my um my dad lives here obviously and like there's so many people like this where their parents are in a different country it's such a big blessing that he was yeah. with us and us as grandchildren to be yeah, able to have done yeah. it like i've never met my dad's dad yeah like i don't even know what he looked like yeah so yeah um, blessed. Asthma put in a way that we felt like we had a lot of catching up to do as well yeah, with each true. other because we were together but we weren't together kind no. of thing. I think since then as well we make more of an effort first of all. Yeah true. To do things, do. to go out places, go on holidays, everything. And, and we, we, we were younger then, we couldn't really go on holidays. Yeah yeah yeah. So. And now, now we've started, we've just, instead of saying let's do that, let's do that, we just do it. Yeah. And that's the key, everyone. Like, if you want to do something, just do it. And, like, if you've got an issue with your dad letting you go places, like I do, like, on holidays, yeah. go with people, like, he knows. Yeah. Go with Alina. Yeah. Go with your Find Alina. Find yourself an Alina. <laughs> and go to Italy. Yeah. Oh, my God. Positano was amazing. Oh, my I'd God. highly recommend it to anyone considering yeah. Positano. And we're actually considering going back next yeah. month, like, literally. 100%. Um, 
yeah, oh my god, it's, it's like beautiful. And like, go with your friends, go with your man, like, go with anyone. Like, it's a holiday you can do with like anyone, I think. Yeah, even um, with your parents. Yeah, it's a lot very hilly. Like, I don't know if mum would, but yeah, I mean, yeah. there doesn't have to be a lot of walking, yeah, because there's a beach, so you can just chill by the yeah. beach. And we also did a, a day trip to Capri, which was really nice. Like, yeah. that was nice to just have that in there as yeah. well. It was just really fun. Um, we answered that really longly, didn't we? Yeah. Take me, I'll be your holiday mom. <laughs> <laughs> we're going on holiday again and we're not taking our moms. <laughs> <laughs> and they keep telling us to take them. <laughs> There's a lot oh. of designer... Um... Just had to change the SD card. Oh, my head's cut off. Oh, okay. What? <laughs> Can you pass me the mash? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're back. Which pair of designer heels is the most comfortable for you both? Ooh. I know what you're gonna say. What? Oh, actually, no, it's Actually, there's now. a few that are really comfortable. To be honest, none of my... Do you know when I first got my um, Valentinos? Mm. I thought, wow, they're so comfy. But since I've got my other ones, they're not as comfy as the other ones at all. I never thought they were that comfortable. Um, so, like, to be honest, my Valentinos are probably my least comfy ones. Literally, because um, my Gian Vito Rossi's are really comfy, really comfy, mm. um, and so are my Jimmy Choo's. Basically, I think court heels are the most comfortable. See, I never used to think that, but it's just because it was hard to find the ones you have to have. They have to fit you proper. Because like I used to wear court heels, like my my shoe size is really small, so I used to struggle to find some that fit me. But obviously, when you're trying to walk and they're big for you, you can't walk. Um, but actually, having said that, my favourite, my most comfortable and my most worn pair the Dior. are my Dior ones. But, and then that's just because it's a small heel. It's not, it's a hundred. Really? It's not like... They're coming hmm. two different sizes, I don't have those ones. I've got the bigger heel. Interesting. And they look like a smaller heel because the heel's a bit bent. Yeah, like it goes big, doesn't it? Yeah, but it's actually a hundred. Also, um, slingbacks are always really comfy, yeah. I found. Oh no, I would say Jimmy Choo because it's a shoe brand and like, I found them really comfy. Really well, comfy. I have my lace ones from Jimmy Choo. I don't think they're that comfortable. Uh, they're, are they just caught shoes? My, my black ones are so comfy. Oh, my Louboutin, the mesh ones are really comfortable as well. Hmm, yeah. I don't have any lubes. Which is really rare. That and I, don't, I didn't get, I don't get lubes because of... The comfort thing. Everyone well, says that they're not comfy. Most of them aren't, but mine are because they're mesh. I think the ones that are leather, because they're so mm. tight, Mm -hmm. Like the leather's really hard. Mm -hmm. I think that's why they're not comfortable, but yeah. Anyway, my answer is the Dior ones. My answer is um, the Jimmy Choo's. Okay. Forever memory together. Please mention me. I've been watching you from the start. Mention her. A.Aleem underscore Shahid. Thank you. Just because of her profile picture, I'm thinking of the cliff. Oh, the wow. cliff's away. No, shall I tell you what our favourite memory is? And I'm going to answer this for both of us. Richmond in the hot tub. Richmond I weekend. I just think we always have fun. I don't think that one was a particularly I fun thought, time. I feel like it was so amazing because the weather was so good. Like it was really hot. And like we went away for the weekend for, and we'd gone away after a long time. We were spending time together. Do you remember? Oh yeah. I think when Which, you went with us to Pakistan. Them what times. was fun? Yeah. That's really mean on Ramish. No. Because the question like, is all to <laughs> No, that's, I'm talking about you two. Yeah. That was really fun. Mum's just sitting here on a chair watching She's us. She's just watching us smiling like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so cute. I wish you could see. You look very pretty today. Are you wearing earrings? Are you going to be vlogging your cousin's wedding? Um, I might vlog like me and like Baji and like the getting ready stuff. But I won't be vlogging the wedding because Ramesh is quite a private person. Mm -hmm. I don't think she'd appreciate that. I haven't even asked her because I know she wouldn't want me to. She's the type of person. She's got one picture on Instagram. So that that should <laughs> tell you how, how she is. And it's from a very long time. It's like two years ago, isn't it? Um, so yeah, that's a no about the wedding. I might not even vlog my thing because then it's like a lead up to a thing and then it's like yeah. they don't even see the thing. How did you manage to lose the weight? Well, I think I'm putting it back on because the past like... <laughs> Actually, I've been eating not very well for like a week because I'm eating too much. Yeah, do you want to tell them that you're on iron tablets now because you don't eat very well? Mum, I've been on iron tablets for like half a year. Yeah, I started losing good. weight a lot after that. Yeah, you shouldn't. I've just always had an iron deficiency. I always get iron deficiency. How did I lose weight? I'm going to be making a video about it, but I actually feel like I shouldn't make a video now because um, sometimes I did things which were not very good. 
Nothing too bad. I just used to skip meals and I feel like you shouldn't really do that. Yeah. I don't want to encourage other girls to do that. Yeah. That's really but bad. I might make a, a video. No, but like people do fasted cardio, so that's yeah. not too bad. Oof. I'll just talk about the good things in that video because I really don't want to, you know, encourage anything bad. How do you react to family trying to put you down? What kind of family puts you down? I'm pretty unfortunate. No, like, as in, like, maybe? <laughs> I'm just like, I'm not laughing, I'm laughing at Carlos' face. I think it's like aunties and uncles, not your immediate family. And maybe just like mean cousins. Okay, first of all, if you've got mean cousins, don't chat to them. If you lot were mean, I wouldn't chat to you. I think trying to put you down, like, you know, like how some people um, do, like, my son's got this. So basically, you just ignore it because it's just stupid, packy culture. True. I don't think we've got anyone in the family who goes about their kids' grades. No, 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 it's not us, really but don't. I think the person yeah. asking is like... Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, we don't yeah, have anyone. Yeah, that's like very that. foreign to me, like, I don't... Yeah. Actually, there but was a I, lady I think... recently who did that, and oh, I was really? just like, who? I don't understand. Who? I just don't understand, like, what's your grades got to do with me? Like, I'm living my life, you live yours. We're both happy. <laughs> Someone said ways to make money. Go to work. <laughs> <laughs> Like, just work. What's your favourite Bollywood movie? Go because she's coming home. A sick movie. <gasps> F word. I watched it recently and it's actually hilarious. Like, you get some jokes that you didn't get before. And, like, they're just so funny. Mm, that is a really good movie. Mm. I just think Gadol's really funny in that movie. Yeah. When yeah. she's, like... And even Shara, even Shara Khan, he's so funny in it. With, like, when Pooh's older and stuff. It's oh, just, yeah, it's yeah. It's just so funny. That is actually... Like, and when he's, like, me, best. yeah. I also li really like RPR Hovea, that's like mine and Lindina's childhood movie. We should watch that because I haven't seen that since we were little. Oh my god, it's it's actually not that great, but it's just got a I lot remember of... the horse. Oh yeah. What's another movie that you'll never forget? <laughs> the one you always wanted to watch? Ish. Oh, Ish. Did, what did, you, did we always want, did I always want I to watch I think that's Rami. I thought all... it was Dolha. No, you all used to want to watch it. We, we have a lot of... I don't remember if films we used to watch together. Yeah, you were, you were. When are you going to upload the rest of the Pakistan vlogs yet? Yeah, and then when are you going to upload the rest of the Pakistan vlogs? Do you know what? Should I actually tell you something really sad? I haven't told anyone this. What? You know, in this vlog, it's oh, the it's, it's where my grandma's in it. And I just, I don't know if I can't bring myself to edit it or if I just keep putting it off. But it's like the last time I saw her. Yeah, that's sad. She passed away recently, but I am editing it, so it will be out soon. I was actually editing it before Alina Lot came, and then I started doing stuff with Alina, so it's her fault, really. Um, is it the last one? No. All right. I was going to say we better go back to Pakistan if it's the last one. <laughs> <laughs> and you can please calm where we go. Where I'm, not, go? I'm not. I'm not. Are you going? Come for it. That's a good. I thought she was going to come when she's going for, for a week. No. Mum, you want me to come with you, right? But then Badgie's no, no. going to come back. No, no, I'm not asking you to come with me. You go with Badgie when she goes, so that they, you can do the opening and then. Badgie's come back. there. She's going to go again. Yeah, yeah, she's going again when the shop she's opens. Come back. Just before Italy, I think. Because it, there's no point. There's no point staying there for another two weeks until it's like actually going to open. What's she going to do? So she's just gonna come here, touch London, and go back to Pakistan. Yeah, she's been doing that for a while now. When it's so annoying. Everyone's just all over the world. Yeah. Last time we came, and was in Pakistan. Well, last time we came to London, like two or three weeks ago. This time we've come, Asma's was in Pakistan. Like this is what I mean. Like we're never. That was always... because my grandma passed away. That was like not. It wasn't planned. Planned yeah. thing. Um, I didn't even think you guys planned to come. No, you didn't. Cause we didn't. Felt lonely. Yeah, we came because Asma said. Um. I'm Who was you? again because I was sad. Yeah. I was missing a bit. Yeah, because so it was Father's home. Day yesterday, yeah. day before. You don't know me. I posted it right? in the group. When are you getting married? That question's come up like 15 times. Never. Someone said... Um, don't when, say that. Um, Someone, I mean, inshallah, one day, but... Someone put a question up, when is the best age to get married? Whenever you want it, why, how are you going to... Like, <laughs> I just don't get... Girls, <laughs> ideally, but like, how can you answer that? Question? No, girls, like, every girl ideally, is different. should get married. Should, yeah, should, should, at least by the age of twenty-eight. You don't want to have kids when you should be having grandkids. 
You should not be having grandkids no, but at you 28. Can't, but you can't say <laughs> when someone should be having grandkids. They can have it when they want. No, but I mean, you want to enjoy. Let me just say, guys never get that shit, yeah? Get yeah. married, get married, get married. They can be 30, 40 years old and marry a 20 year old girl, yeah? They can be married, divorced, with kids, and still have a line of girls. 100%. So for, if a girl gets divorced, uh, no one wants to marry her. No, the, um, only, the only thing I feel is that you should have that time with your kids when, you, when you're when you young. Okay, that's so fine. So that you can do stuff with your kids and okay. enjoy it rather than when you retire and then you have having kids. That's fine. Carla says that you should get married young enough to like chill with your kids and stuff, which is fine. Um, but if you can't, there's no need for like to get for it for women. Boys don't get for it. I just think there's no age and I don't think there should be. I agree. Would you say that to a guy? Yeah. No, you I don't. can guarantee you if Dalha was 35 and unmarried. I'd um, say, come on, Dalha, when are you going to get married? <laughs> you so Have pretty. you watched Yakin Kasafur? What are your guys' favourite shows? Ram show? Yakin Kasafur, I watched a bit, I think. Oh, I have got a headache. Give up. Yakin Kasafur. Is that the one where they're both doctors? Are these two different flavours or not? No. We got Subway cookies. I want a double chocolate but they didn't have it. <laughs> <laughs> Subway cookies are the best. Mm -hmm. I haven't, I don't think I've had one since uni. I don't know what, what else to have now. Should I have another gold cup? Have you, you haven't had any. I know, I just really want They're cookie. They're really good. I'll have them. Um, <clears throat> go on, have you seen it? Alright, yeah, I've seen Yakin Gassifer, if, if it's the one I'm thinking of. Um, I just thought it was okay. It's cute that they're getting married now, though. Sajal and... I haven't seen it. But my favourite Pakistani drama is... Um, Odari. Odari's up there. It's a sick one. If you haven't seen it, watch it. Hamsafar was good. Also, um... I didn't like... I just thought it was overhyped, that. What's that one that we both like? Um... Shano. Myra Khan. Shano and Khalil. Uh, Alina, do you watch Pakistani dramas? Yes, she loves them. Oh, oh God. God. What's the one, Alina? Um, Sadke Tumhare. Oh my God, I love Sadke Tumhare. Which is so you weird. You watch that. It's on Netflix. Not that much happened in it. I think it's end. just. I just love it. It's just it's so just cute. It's just so cute. Yeah. And it's a true story. Yeah. You know that guy writes yeah. loads of dramas. Yeah, it's really sad. Um, Khalilur Rahman. You need to all watch it because it's really, really good. It's based on Khalilur Rahman's love story. It's. So good. Everyone needs to watch it. Mum, you need to watch it. It's based in like the olden days. Have you not seen it? No. So she's she's got those like puffy sleeves. Watch it. It's on Netflix. But mum doesn't like Mahira. I love Mahira. Mum loves her as well. Mahira's amazing. How can you not like her? No, it's not like I would I would have died for her dramas. Kind of. She's thing. not dying for it, basically. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying for her. I think, she's, I, I think she's really good. I also, I think like she's just doing amazing, sweetie, because she's got a kid. Mm. You know, yeah. she's just... She doesn't need a man. Mm-mm. <laughs> she's amazing. I love her. Number one hair tip. Ellen's got so many hair tips for me. Mmm. Yeah. Alina, you've never gone really, really short, except when you were picking. <laughs> she goes, you've never gone really, really short, except for when you went really, really short. No, when you were a kid. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a picture of her. Remember to put it off when you edit. Ball cut. No, I'm not going to go short. Maybe after my, my sister's wedding. After. Okay. Perhaps. Everyone told me not to though. Put oil in your hair. Yeah, put oil in your hair. Hair masks are amazing, especially if you've dyed your hair. The mm. Haswan Wenhua hair mask what? from Lush is really good if you've got damaged hair. Don't dye your hair. Don't dye your hair. Big I one. would say that. Don't dye your hair. It just ruins it. I would it say too. that 50 times. Mm -hmm. um, Alina, I can't promise these gold are going to stay here. It's alright, I'm really enjoying these cookies. No, please have this. This, this is so good. I've got sweet in my mouth. How do you find it living so far away from each other when you're really close? Um, I want it to focus. We that gives you an excuse to come visit or we go visit. Yeah. Like, I don't think it's an issue for us. Like, it's just not an issue. It can be like, sometimes it's sad because we always want to chill. Yeah. And we can't. It's hard when everyone's got a different schedule, which we yeah. do. We all have different schedules. Like, Alina has bookings for work and sometimes she's on block bookings, which are annoying. And then when she's free, she's the one that initiates things. Yeah. And asthma. And Asma's obviously always in hoods as well, so that's, that's since she got married, it's better because she's always there. I'm always available. Mm, <laughs> I disagree. Mm -mm. And I've had events and stuff, so sometimes I'm like, let's go, come down, come with, and she has stuff to do. Mm. So, like, it's just different schedules, Um, but you've just got to make yourself do it, make yourself chill. <laughs> and also, like, we talk every day. This cookie is so good. 
white chocolate macadamia nut subway cookie it's probably one of the best cookies ever it's better than millie's cookies i don't really like millie's cookies anyway though you know what's paying ben's cookies i was gonna say i'm not wow i'm dying for them still waiting on the roast potatoes recipe oh yeah give that say that thing elite say that alina thing no have you found the one no <laughs> Someone said best and worst Pakistani designers. Worst. Take it away, Adam. Suffuse. Suffuse. Worst. HSY. No, were, we, we were good. good. Yeah, good. They were good. Yeah. HSY were really good. The best was Sarah's, Sarah's one. one. Yeah. Even when we went this time, like, we didn't actually end up getting from them, but they were so good. Such good service. It's what you'd actually yeah, expect. 100%. Yeah. You know? Because hey, you're paying so much. We went to... Um, upstairs. Tri no, the, well, the downstairs one. That was something Syrah. Like. Republic. Oh, Sarah Rahil Askar was yeah, really good. Yeah, she was really mm. good. As yeah. And helpful. She I was always, so helpful. Yeah, I always say Sarah's one and Sarah Rahil together because they were both amazing customer service. Suffuse so was horrific. I would never recommend Suffuse. And like, even when we went back now, like, look, just disgusting. Yeah. Service. Republic was not great. I didn't like... They just they didn't like, let you touch just, or try anything on. They ignored us when we were there and they asked you to book an appointment. So I don't really understand yeah. why you need to book an appointment if they're not even going to serve you. Yeah. I don't even mean serve you. I just mean, like, talk to you. Yeah. Like, about their well, design. It was really, really good. Um, what she called? I don't know what she's called, but she was such good service. I need to remember because her service was amazing. Who was that designer whose service was really, really good? That lady who we didn't end up going with. Right. She's going to check her WhatsApp right now and tell me. Who else was good? This cookie's also really good, but I prefer the white chocolate. I'm going to try the white chocolate one. Mm. There was someone else that was really um, bad. Mm, okay, bye. It was Shaza Hassan. She oh, was so good. She was terrible with us. Really? Yeah, I really didn't like her. What? Mate, when we they were chatting there. about us, when we weren't looking oh in front God. of us, they were looking. When we went, she was well, she was there. It was her. Oh, okay. And the, like we got the sales assistants, but right. that shouldn't really what be. What about that one that uh, I think she was from, from America? Oh, oh Dina, Dina Rehman. She was, she, so cool. she was she was good. She was like a vibe. Her she stuff's a bit so different, cool. yeah. But she was a bit like the studio was really cool. Yeah. Too. She was good. Uh, she wasn't the friendliest. Oh really? Yeah. Actually mm. I was with Sarah Chakra were really good. Sarah Chakra. Really, oh, really good. We went there, they were okay, like the they they quote us, quoted us a price online and then we went there in person and they were like, No, we can't give it to you right. for that much. They were they were really good with us. In terms of service, we didn't get to pricing because we didn't order from them, but like um, service wise, they were, yeah. they were good. We really liked one of their outfits, but yeah. We, yeah, they decided to change the price when we got there, so we didn't get it from them. This food was really yummy. I want some more cookie. You prefer that one? They're both nice. I'm gonna finish the white chocolate. Um, would you want to get married in Pakistan or here? Do they mean like get married to someone from there or just have your wedding there? I think someone from there. I was thinking of this in the shower, right? I was thinking when we were little. <laughs> Why were you thinking about this? Because I was reading these and then I was thinking about what I would say to them. Oh, okay. I was thinking, we used to just say no, like absolutely not right. But I just think people are much different now. Much different? Don't you think people are much different in Pakistan now? Like I think there's people that are much more liberal than us now. I would still say no. Like, I don't know, it's down to the person. Like, it's... You, you can't just pay everyone with the same brush. Like, I think... There's, like, there's like, else. really understanding... Like, people are more like, open minds in Pakistan than they can be here, to be honest. But there's not many people who would get up and get a glass of water for themselves. So there's lots of things that you need to consider. Exactly. I think there is. I just feel like the culture's so different. Not many people, not a lot of them. Like the culture's just too different yeah, to mesh. Like different. it's just yeah, we're not. Yeah. yeah, I think it is very different. Yeah. And there would be a lot of working on things. How many brothers and sisters do you have? I've got one sister. I've got one sister, one brother. Oh, this is kind of good for like why we're so close. My mum's been ill, right, for a long time. She's had like problems from when I was young. She's had had problems since like Badgett was born. Alina started nursery and I also started because mum was in and out of hospital so much so. So she started a year early? Yeah I started a year early and then me and Alina were really close because I was a year younger than everyone. Imagine like a two, two, yeah. two year old? Yeah, three, three and you being two. Yeah, 
Imagine that. There's actually this really cute video of a sports day. <laughs> it's not cute. <laughs> and no, the bit I'm gonna say is All cute. Right. Like everyone's winning the bike race and I'm really far behind, but I was only two. <laughs> <laughs> I was a year younger. Anyway, so me and Alina were really close. I was so shy. Mm. I was the shyest kid ever. I didn't like speaking to anyone. And I was really clingy to Alina because she was like well, basically my only holding friend. her hand all the time. You were always holding her really? hand. Really? Yeah. You would not oh. let go of her hand. So then, what happened when I? So you went mm -hmm. to reception, and then Thilha joined. Mm -hmm. So I was really friendly with Thilha because mm -hmm. he was in my year. So Thilha and Anna are the same age. Yeah, me and Thilha are same age. So then Thilha came, and then I was okay. We moved to London when I was in reception, and then it all started again, and I was still shy. Really? Yeah. And then Zoya looked after me. Mm. She was my assigned person to look after oh me. Oh my god. And then we moved again. And then Hajra was your friend. Oh. Hajra's been your friend for a long time and Hajra was really cute. Love you Hajra. That's probably why I was always so shy. There was a lot of moving around. My sister actually says me and Badgie have this um, attachment thing because Asthma definitely has it in it. Of me. Says. Because of mum, yeah, like we wouldn't know if mum was going to be in hospital when we'd come home from school. And we used to know like she's ill. But yeah, it's okay now, alhamdulillah. And the other thing, when you move from first school from London to the second one, the standard... Oh my god. The first school I was in, everything was really not up to Your the standard. national level it oh, should really? have been at. And I was like at the top of the class because uh -huh. I had education in uh -huh. Huddersfield. Uh -huh. Then when I moved to here, it was shit. I was the lowest. Why? No, the highest. No, I was the lowest here. Yeah, yeah, because, because their standard was so bad. Was still, <gasps> yeah, so that's I wasn't, how bad it is. That wasn't. That is why you always people say like the people who know read the Ofsted reports. Oh my I God. wasn't. Oh. You get your kids in school. I wasn't pushed to my standards yeah. in the first school. So what happened when you got here? I was like, oh my god, I used to not want to go to school. Every morning I used to say I've got a tummy ache and it was anxiety. Oh my god. She's had anxiety since then. And they were on their which timetable. I which, suffer from anxiety. Which timetable were they on? And you didn't know anything? Oh, I only, oh. Knew, I only knew my second and fifth timetable when I was in this school. Oh my god. And everyone knew all of them. That's crazy. That messed me up mentally. I was like, always nervous. Because you were used to not being in that position. Yeah. That's crazy. How different are you from 18 year old Anna? I feel like she's the same. I really am. I matured at a very young age, I think. In it, mum? Yeah. Like, I feel yeah. like I've always been sensible. Yeah, she's, she's always been the sensible one. How to make friends after your 20s, it's really hard. It's, it's really hard. When you're at yeah, like my friends and my friends. I've given up. Like, I'm not even trying anymore. It's hard to make friends once you're older. I think. Like my friends are my friends from young, and then these guys. That's yeah. it. These you lot don't count really. What to wear for graduation? No dresses. Wear like um smart trousers and like a, a high waisted trousers and a top or something. In it, if you don't yeah. want dresses. Who's your favorite cousin? Oh, that's a hard one. Who's your favorite cousin? I think you're more closer to Alina than Ramesh for some reason. Belha. <laughs> right. Moving on. <laughs> I'm just not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> what do you think of all the travel vloggers going to Pakistan? I love it. Like the battery's flashing. What? Let's get through quick questions. Quick. When will Alina make a YouTube channel? Never. Alina just make one. Nah, I'm just gonna feature on Anims. <laughs> um how to deal with anxiety, please don't mention my name in this video. She deal she has anxiety. I have anxiety. I haven't ever mentioned it before, but it's really difficult to deal with um, just healthy mind and like meditating really helps me, reading the Mars helps. Just try and not stress over things that don't matter, like just try and have a clear mind. I know it's hard, I know it's hard, but that's where it all starts from. Also stay away from dairy, I feel like dairy makes my IBS go fly through the roof. How do you guys react when you get rich stars? I don't. I don't experience it. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I, it never get. It never yeah. reaches me. I don't think it even reaches you. No, there were a few. I just said, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> How do I block out fake friends? Just don't talk to them in it. Cut like, them out. 
Best way to save and spend money. Like just spend on the stuff you really want to spend on. Just don't spend. <laughs> Yeah. Like I would say, if you really want to save, don't allow yourself to spend it. And if you really want to do something, just do it. Like, it's a balance. Yeah. How's Badgie doing? We miss her. We miss her too, man. She's never here. Most annoying trait about each other. This is Alina's. And mine is that she never lets me touch her ear and she's got the softest, softest, ear, softest she, ears I don't about. know. I don't know why she needs to touch everyone's ears. Because she's just babas. Really? Are they soft? Yeah, they're very soft. What's better, Jenna chart or Samosa chart? Definitely Samosa. I think Jenna chart. <laughs> they see food or makeup if you had to choose to give one up for life. What a dumb question. What? <laughs> what would you. They see food or makeup if you had to give one up? Makeup? <laughs> <laughs> you I see gonna, a face. I was gonna say they see. Oh, they see food. I thought you said they see clothes food. for some reason. Makeup, obviously. Sarg, are you crazy? Do you agree with cousin marriages? I do not. I do not either, hun. No comment. Who is older, Ramish or Lena? Ramish is older. Do you watch Turkish dramas? No, no but everyone keeps telling me to watch. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My buddy's watching one. Is she? Yeah, I think that's what she's watching. I don't like reading subtitles. Yeah, because I like to be on my phone. Yeah, and I like to watch things when I'm doing my makeup. Yeah. So I can't do that. Do you think you need friends when you have cousins like yours? I actually don't. No, I actually don't, because I feel um, like when would I have time to like spend with yeah. friends. It's hard like when you get older to like spend time with your family, your friends. To do work, to do your to own work. chilling things. Yeah. Me time. It's hard man. Yeah. Thank you. What does Alina think about Anum's fame? What could what could one think about Anum's fame like? Is it good? Like it's it's <laughs> fun. Like I just remember one thing yeah when I was sat in the library I was in third year of uni right and I was just sat trying to revise and then and then put this thing up, yeah. And then sent it in the group where she got this massive, massive <gasps> box of um, Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, PR box. I think that was the first time you got like a big brand. PR, yeah. And I was like, oh my days, I was shook. Like that was the, yeah, uh, that was that the thing was I amazing. remember. That was like, the that was best sick. Thing. Yeah. Because like, at that time, like, ABH lipsticks were like, the liquid lipsticks were like, the thing. Yeah. Oh my god, that was such a good That was time. really exciting. Do you like it when followers approach you in public? I think you're, you're yes. as famous, Alina. I like it when people approach me. I think it's so much better than just when, getting like, like stared at. Yeah, or like I know it's a bit daunting to come up to someone and say hi, but it's really awkward when like I can see that you're talking about me. So I just come and say hi. Since Ramish is leaving us for London, do we get to do a swap season? Have you? You? Aww. Yeah. I think that pigs will fly when Anna moves out of London. I might. Personally. I might go to like America. Um. I feel. Yeah. But not Huddersfield, I don't think. It's, it's too quiet for me. Forget America. I think Huddersfield is amazing. It's it's like, a, I need like a busy, busy place, I feel. Yeah, you wouldn't thrive. Mm. Is design a Pakistani wedding wear worth the price tag? Basically, I was going to say like, yeah, because um, the headache, you don't get the headache, but you do get the flipping headache of... No, but I think that the designers do so much better work. Yeah, the difference is like the cut. You don't get the cut. I even even the embroidery is just you know places like shops they do what you'd expect but designers make it look amazing but you still get the headache with both of them yeah like, you do the still get the headache there. yeah you just gotta find the right people but it's really hard in Pakistan what's your advice to girls who feel too ugly to get married asking for a friend first of all no one is too ugly to no. get married like, that's so how can they're saying that they think they're too ugly for a man or something. No, no one's too ugly yeah, for a man. It's just stupid, like, if anything, it's the other way around. <laughs> and um, don't ever think that if you've got not very fair skin, that counts as being not nice. Yeah. That is so wrong. Yeah. yeah. I feel like people don't really have that. Well, no, no they, do. they do. They do have it here. 100%. Yeah. I love Carol. Would you ever move to Pakistan? No. Never. It's so fun to visit, but couldn't live there. Do you know what? It's just like little things. You can't get them done. Like changing a light bulb is like, it requires 10 men apparently. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And like... Not when I'm there. No, it's just <laughs> like, li like simple tasks. Look, I need you to please print this out for me. It will be something else. Or like, it'll be wonky. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just like things don't True. go smoothly. They don't use the... Uckle. Yeah. People, I'm gonna get so much hate for this, but everyone knows it's the truth. That it's what? It's hard Basically, to get things do you know what, is, do you know what everyone is in Pakistan? Incompetent. <laughs> and 
yeah. what do you mean you can't say yeah that? they are because everyone like you cannot go there and like we went to this one not everyone most people are incompetent at their job i don't think you should <laughs> I'm just your telling you. Workers will no, I'm have telling workers you my experience. In it. Yeah. You ask your worker to do something, they'll ask someone yeah. else to do it. It's just it a long process. On. Like we went to some like it's like their version of House of Fraser, basically like a department store. And like you go to the thing and oh you choose God. what you want and instead of just taking it with you to the till and paying, they insist on they like, no no, we're gonna take it with three, four floors down to the till, yeah? So by the time you get down to the till, the thing hasn't reached there. You go to a separate counter to pay, then you go to a separate counter to pick it up. And by the time you've gone paid and picked it up, they've still not made it down. That's their version of CCTV, Alina. What do you mean? They do it because they think you're going to steal. What? Yes. That's why you have to, like, get your bags checked and stuff. Basically, it's just ridiculous. And, like, also, when you're in these queues for the places, the women are like this. <laughs> They're like, so you're, you'll be... <laughs> and then you'll turn around and you'll be like... And they'll just be like... <laughs> <laughs> you'll be like, what's that? Yeah, I can feel that, it on um, my neck. What's that? Is like, that someone's breath? Like the pungent smell of BO, like what I'm sure I like, you know, don't smell today. <laughs> and then you'll just feel some and then you'll be like, shit. <laughs> yeah, like personal space is not a thing there. It's these little things that you couldn't deal with on a day to day basis, like, you know, personal space. I think that we should stop now because it's getting yeah, a bit long in it. This video is so long. So if you watched it all, wow, thank you. And well done. <laughs> <laughs> Because I couldn't have sat so long. <laughs> no, I love q and A's. Like, I love watching q and A's. Really? Yeah, it's one of my favourite things. Okay, so, so you can start a YouTube channel no. on Q&A's. <laughs> Best body hair removal tri tips for Asian girls literally f*** <laughs> There literally is nothing. Yeah. Waxing kills. Cream is just long and I stopped doing that like 10 years ago. Shaving causes... It doesn't actually cause ingrown hairs for me. But it's just a nightmare. It grows after two days. Laser doesn't work. What is there? Nothing. Uh, if epilate. you guys know like a laser that epilate. actually works. It's painful, Carla. Epilate. No, I don't like epilating. It's like so painful. Oh. Yeah, I can't hurt that. It's like tweezing yeah. every single hair. <gasps> regrets. It was regrets. <gasps> I can't find mm. it. Someone said like, oh, if you could go back and like, would you regret anything you've done? Or would you do it all? Or something like that. And I was like, no. Yeah. But anyone was like to me, or you might say, yeah, but Mom. I just think... Oh, oh sorry. And I said that we were very different, so... Yeah. Um, like we said, Anum has just been very sensible, always. I've been very good my whole life. Um, I've been good too. <laughs> but, like, um, you just... <laughs> like, you look... <laughs> we're just very... We were d very different. Yeah. I feel like me like, and Asma were more similar yeah. and you and, Matt, you and Appy are more similar yeah. in that sense. And I was always very sensible and me and Asma would go off and like be the naughty kids. They used to, oh my god, they had this stupid thing called cheap and ugly tops. And they would always buy cheap tops knowing that they're ugly just because they were like £2. And they oh, used to get like the matching tops. Mum, did you know they had this thing? Really? I think we got it like once. We got this really no, ugly top. No, you had like, at you the time. At, least two. at the time, you don't think it's ugly because it's so no, cheap. No, you knew at the time. And then afterwards, we called it cheap and ugly. Anyway, I didn't do dumb things like that. Yeah, and neither did Happy. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks for watching. Do you want to sign out? How do you sign out? Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed listening to our Q and A and our mukbang. <laughs> mukbang. She keeps calling it mukbang. Mukbang. <laughs> I'm like, Alina, that's not how you mukbang. say it. Mukbang. Okay. Anyway. Um, thanks so much for watching, guys. And we'll see you guys in the next one in the Pakistan vlogs. Bye. Bye. No, we're not going to Pakistan again. I mean the ones that I haven't edited yet. But I hope we're going to Pakistan again. <laughs> we might. I don't know. I need to decide. I love the way you sang, girl.